next video, multiplication, we're going to talk about, uh, it's, it falls under the category of multiplication, multiplication, but we're talking about counting in multiples, okay? So what does that look like? All right. Well, let's look. If we're counting multiples of one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, okay, we get it. Duh. And multiples of one, you just add by one. Uh, multiples of two, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. All right. So no matter the multiple, we need to be able to count by multiples because it affects our multiplication tables. Okay. Counting by 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, okay, 45, 50. We can, we can still go up 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, uh, 54, and so on and so on, so forth. These are all just columns of multiples, okay? They're, you're just counting 7, 14, 21, 28. Now, if we put them together, right, so we have them all together, I want you to see this. What if we count two, the number two, and we count it three times? Two, three times, you get six. Two, four, six. Two times three is six. Multiples are important because they are the foundation, they're the basis of our times table. Okay, this is a times table. We could add some zeros on this side too, it doesn't matter. Three, six, nine, twelve. What is three times four? It's twelve. Oh, so if we count multiples, that's like doing single digit times single digit, right? Three times four is twelve. Four and three, twelve, or Four and three is twelve. That's what. That's really cool. So multiples help us, and they help us, and they're the foundation of our of our math skills, of our like rapid fire when we're doing and when we're learning our times tables. So if you have any questions, let me know. Let me know what kind of video you would like me to make, and I'll be happy to do so. Thank you guys so much. Thank <laughs> you.